Hello, this is Trent Great Arnold. I'm going to give you an example today of a deployment of the IBM Business Intelligence Pattern with Blue Acceleration. We're in the IBM Pure Application System in the Workload Console, looking at the Pattern tab. So first we choose the pattern type, then we say New, we, and we start building it. This is going to open the Virtual Application Builder in a new tab in the web browser. We'll see, we'll take the main item, drag it from the palette into the main area, and we're going to rename it to bi-blue, much shorter, and we're going to use the virtual host name of bi-blue, so all of our virtual machines will have that prefix on them. Below what we see is a whole bunch of different uh, options available, so there's uh, admin credentials, mobile URLs, uh, and the names of some of the databases that we'll be using internally. The important part here is choosing the deployment size. So we're going to create a fairly large deployment right now with 76 cores, and we're going to create one with 320 gigabytes of RAM. And we can see below if we want to add the samples to it. We won't do that today though. So what we do is we've created this, and we're going to say save. We're going to change the name to BI Blue, And then we are going to close this window and go back to the main area. We see it has now appeared on the left. See it's been created and we're just going to press deploy. This is going to stand up the full instance and we see it's it started or it's sorry it's starting and we're going to get a list here. So here is the list of all the different things that need to be set. We're choosing the priority and we're going to add an SSH key so that we can log into the machine later. And that is all that we need to do to cause all the VMs to be built. So it says below here, above here, preparing to deploy the virtual application. And now it says we can look here to see the status as it's being created. So this is now in the instances panel and we see that it's launching and we can see some VMs have started to be created. We'll return to this when it is done. It's back and it's in running state, and we'll look at some of the various aspects. The key area is these endpoints. These say what virtual machine endpoints have been stood up that users will use. The most important is the Cognos BIAS one. So we see the top one is the application URI, if you go to the destination of this, you will see that the Cognos server is running here. And below are two of the important pieces of information required to connect some of the Cognos client interfaces. Additionally, we see uh, various endpoints for databases and the content managers. This is the database link for populating your data, so you would ETL into this JDBC target. So we'll pause and do that. Next, we will go and look in here and insert the Cognos deployment or whatever Cognos work you have into these places uh, so as to produce reports. Next, we're seeing all the virtual machines that are running. You can see there are logs available for each of these and monitoring capabilities. So let's pick one and have a look. So what we can see is we're now looking at all the different aspects. Here's the memory and the processors available, networking utilization and storage. So this gives you a sense from each virtual machine how well it's performing. And what we see down here is the list of all the events that happen in the virtual machine to start. And this concludes our demonstration of the deployment of the IBM Business Intelligence Pattern with Blue Acceleration.